He may be a pariah in labour circles, but it's performances like this that have made George Galloway such a hero for many. As a matter of fact, I've met Saddam Hussein exactly the same number of times as Donald Rumsfeld met him. The difference is, Donald Rumsfeld met him to sell him guns. Senator, in everything I said about Iraq, I turned out to be right and you turned out to be wrong. I have no further questions for the witness. You're excused, Mr. Galloway. Thank you very much. It's a refusal to tow the party line that's brought both triumph and disaster to his door. The MP's rarely been out of the public eye since lavishing praise on Saddam Hussein in 1994. Sir, I salute your courage, your strength, your indefatigability. His efforts to help Iraqis, he brought this girl to Britain for treatment, bringing him both fans in the Arab world and finally criticism from the Charity Commission for failing to look closely enough at the sources of some donations. But always the political prize fighter, the man who was unceremoniously dumped as a Labour MP in 2003, quickly got back in the ring, setting up the anti-war party respect and ousting his former colleague Una King in Bethnal Green. This has been one of the most historic political victories in British political history. He couldn't replicate that success with voters in both the neighbouring East London constituency and Scotland. But ever the rebel, he's never found it hard to stay in the spotlight, as adversarial out of the Commons as in it. Why should America be allowed to give long-range missiles to Israel, including hundreds of nuclear missiles, but Iran because it's is not given it to, to a terrorist organization. But, but they're not a terrorist organization. Only in the mind of Rupert Murdoch's Sky and the Times and the Sun oh, and on. the News of the World. I'm going to stop not you a there, Mr. Galloway. Appearances like this one on Celebrity Big Brother have made him an easy man to mock. Now look, you've still got cream all over your whiskers. But gorgeous George mm. has once again shown his skill as a political operator and can.